to Free From Lifestyle. I hope everyone's doing good. It's the weekend and it is a cold and very gloomy wet one here in Essex. So I'm gonna be making a pie tonight. So I haven't done this one before. When I say I haven't done it before, I've made a pie before. And I've also made um, a steak pie before, but I've always used a method on the hob and I wanna use my Ninja 15 in one. Now I did think about slow cooking the meat, but I thought, do you know what? Let's try pressure cooking it. It's gonna be quicker. And I've heard that the meat can be even more tender when done in this way. So we're gonna get loads of flavor in there and then we're gonna bake it at the end with some gorgeous puff pastry on the top. Proper comfort, warming food. That's exactly what we need at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you do enjoy it and let me know what you think to pressure cooking the meat in this way. I've got my ninja on sear and saute, and we're gonna add in some olive oil into the bottom, and just allow that to get warm while we prepare our beef. So I've got beef, and it's just cut into chunks, and this is perfect for being slow cooked, and it's gonna be nice and tender. So that's the sort of beef that you want, and it will work the same for pressure cooking. Onto the beef, we want about a heaped tablespoon of plain flour. Just give the beef a stir around in that flour, just so that it coats all of it. Let's get that in. Hear that sizzle. So that tells me that that is warm enough. Now I always have trouble with things sticking on the bottom of my pan. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I normally have the heat too high. So we are going with a level three on the sear and saute. We just want to brown that all over and then we can remove it. We also need to season the beef. It's important. So a little bit of salt. And I like lots of black pepper. Okay, so I'm removing the beef from the pot. Now I want to add my onion, celery and carrot. I've left my carrot quite chunky because I want the pieces to be quite obvious in my pie. And alongside that, I'm going to pop in a bay leaf. Now the vegetables can come out. Now we're going to deglaze the pan with some red wine, and this is optional. Get that in. And what we want to do is we just want to let that simmer and bubble away until that has reduced to about half. That has reduced enough now. So back in with your vegetables and your beef. And here I've got one potato just diced up into about one centimetre cubes. Add that in as well. Some dried mixed herbs. A little bit of tomato puree, about a tablespoon. Then you want to add in some stock. I'm using a beef stock and um, gravy mix, actually, that I had left over that I've actually put in my freezer. Don't like to waste anything if it can be used. So let's add that in and give that a stir. And what we want to do is we want to bring this up to the boil and then we can turn off the sear and saute and then put this under pressure. This is going to be absolutely delicious because it already smells so good. Wait till that's been pressure cooked. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Over this side so that we're on pressure, we want to leave that on high. And I'm going to go with a natural release for 30 minutes. It's going to take, probably could be take up to 30 minutes to actually release and create the pressure. So we could be looking at an hour total, but I'll let you know afterwards, I'll time it. So that came to pressure in just four and a half minutes. So really fast. <coughs> just finished pressure cooking. Now we've just got the natural release and we'll see how long it takes. So it took just under 13 minutes for that pressure to be released on natural release, which is brilliant. Sometimes it says open, but you can't open the lid straight away. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, we can. Sometimes it just takes like another 30 seconds or so. I'm not sure why that is. Let's have a little look at what we've got in here. I'm expecting there to be too much liquid and we'll have to thicken it. The smell is incredible. I mean, you could literally just eat it like that, couldn't you? You could make this into a stew and add some dumplings, but as I said, we're making a pie today. Now I'm really keen to test out how tender this beef really is cooked like this. Oh my goodness, 
it's actually really good. You think that's only had half an hour? If I was slow cooking it, I'd have to slow cook that all day or have it on the hob for a good few hours. Look at that, so if you can get a close up of that. Really tender, literally just pulls apart. Mm. I had to give that a little test. Beautiful, really tender, full of flavor. This is gonna be brilliant. As always, you've got options now. So we've got quite a bit of liquid in here, but I don't want it this thick. So you can either add corn flour to this, that's one way. I'm gonna actually try and sear and saute and just reduce it down naturally. The other way is to add some gravy granules into that, that would work, but I'm gonna sear and saute for a little bit and if it's still a bit liquidy, then I might pop a little bit of gravy granules in there. Now I've just had this on really low on sear and saute and that has thickened up beautifully. I'm now ready to bake the pie. All I've done is just um, whisked up an egg and brushed the top of the edges of the tin just to help the pastry lid to stick. And then I've egg washed the whole top there. Now I need to get the rack and let's get the pie on the rack. And then we can lower that in. I think that's probably the easiest way to get it in there. I haven't used the bake setting that often on the Ninja, so I'm not entirely sure how long this is going to take, but it should be pretty quick. So I'm going to go down to 180 because I want the filling to be really warm before the pastry gets overly crispy. Let's set it for, do you know what, let's leave it for 15 minutes and then we can always extend it. 15 minutes is up. And that looks good to me. We've got a nice crispy pastry. All I can say about that is fantastic you need to make it it is so good my husband said that that is the best way that i have cooked beef for like a stew or a pie before it was so tender it was melting in the mouth the gravy that was in was full of flavor really super delicious we had the veg in there and then the pastry was nice and crispy thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye